Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can easily animate these DNA strands in After Effects. But first I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, the BenQ Screen Bar Plus Monitor Lamp. I and a lot of other people who design, edit or animate spend a lot of time in front of a computer and looking at the screen for so long can cause irritated eyes. Getting enough rest in time will help prevent discomfort but the most important thing to save the eyes is good lighting. The BenQ screen bar has hue adjustment features so you can kind of change the color of the light for a more uh, bluish tone to a more yellow light. Uh, depending on your surroundings and the lights in your room. It also has an auto dimming feature so it can change brightness according to the room you're in. The asymmetrical optical design of the screen bar uh, eliminates reflective glare off your screen. You don't want that. So it will only illuminate on your desk and on your mouse and your keyboard and everything in front of your screen. With the screen bar you can save valuable space on your desk so no, no need for a desk lamp anymore with a specially designed clip that fits on nearly any monitor and I myself can mount it on my iMac perfectly. I like how it creates some kind of a little cozy light on my desk so when I'm working when it's dark outside I can dim the lights in the room and have the screen bar lamp on so I can still see what I'm doing right in front of me. If you want to know more about the BenQ screen bar plus monitor lamp check out the links in the description down below. Okay on to the video. So I've got my composition open here with these backgrounds just to make it look kind of nice and we're going to create a uh, ellipse with our ellipse tool and let's hold shift while doing it to create a perfect circle like this. And I'm going to put the anchor point in the middle here, just because I like it. I have this move anchor point plug in here. And we're going to zoom in and we're going to um, get a different fill, make it like kind of a dark blue color like that. And get the stroke, maybe make that a really light blue. Doesn't really matter, but eh? okay, something like that is fine. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Let's put it at 60. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, press Command D. Let's call this ball. I'm going to press Command D and to make a duplicate, as you can see here, ball two, and place it over here. And then I'm going to zoom in a bit more, and then I'm going to go to my pen tool here. Click on the fill and click on none. We don't need a fill. We only need a, a line here. Just click on the middle here, and then hold Shift and click on the middle here to create this uh, line. And I'm going to put that behind our uh, uh, circles here. Let's, give, let's call this a line. And now we're going to animate these two uh, things. So let's uh, both open them up and press P on our keyboard to go open the position. Create a keyframe and go a bit further in time. Let's zoom in here for one second. And then I'm going to place this one on this place here. And then we're going to uh, the, the second one this one uh, we're going to copy this keyframe and then i'm going to place this over here place this keyframe there press command v so we have the perfect positions here so now they're like moving to each other's place it's too fast let's just drag that out to two seconds i think that looks better okay then i'm going to go to the line i'm going to open it up i'm going to add a trim path effect and open up the trim paths click on start and end here and then here in the middle at one second we're going to both place them at 50 percent 50 50 so they both move to the middle as you can see if i turn off these two you can see that the line is growing to the middle and then we're going to uh, let's turn these back on so this uh, top one the start started at zero it goes to 50 and then it goes to 100 here so you can of course also delete these two and then just go to 100 and to zero but i just wanted to show you how this works so now it uh, that's that's the basic idea of it let's uh, give them all right click keyframe assistant some easy easing and then um, we're going to um, hold option on our keyboard and click on the stopwatch here and uh, type in loop and it already finishes it here loop out uh, okay and then command a select everything command c and i'm going to do the same thing here place it oops sorry <laughs> option click and then press command v to paste it over there do the same thing with uh, these two boom so now it just keeps looping out and it keeps going until infinity and all right 
So now we have that finished. So we're going to zoom out a bit here and going to select these three uh, shapes. Press Command Shift C or right click and then go to Precompose to make it kind of a group. Let's call this uh, DNA um, part. And we're going to click on this button here to red to get this nice bounding box around it. And I'm going to place that over here. Then I'm going to press Command D to duplicate it as you can see here. And then I'm going to place that down here. Press Command D again. Just do that a whole bunch of times like this. I'm going to do it quickly now. And you can of course look at the distance in between to make it all perfect. Like that. This should be enough. Yeah. And I'm going to select all of them. And what you need to do now is offset them just one frame. So what I can do is just uh, grab this one, then grab this one and just move it over one frame. Let's zoom in here and move this over one frame and move that over one frame. There you go. Really easy. I also have this plugin uh, Rift here. Uh, which you can also use so i'm going to delete all of these get back here select all of them and we have <coughs> 14 layers so i'm going to go to my rift plugin which i highly recommend you get because it's an awesome plugin i'm going to default unit frames here uh, layer everything is selected and then i can just hit here and press 14 and boom they're all one frame apart nice so now i'm going to go to this first one here and then press Option in bracket, so now everything cuts off there. Slide that to the to the beginning, and there we have our DNA. I think we can make it go a bit faster. So if I open up this composition, press U on my keyboard, and then in here, and then I'm, if I hold Option and select the last keyframes here, I can just drag that in. All of them get faster, and because this is all the same um, a composition, everything is updated instantly. So now we get this bit of a bit faster uh, movement. Uh, let's try to make it faster even more. Boom, like that. So then we have this more of this DNA kind of shape. So there you go. And the longer you make this, of course, the better it will look. So this is like this uh, really cool uh, DNA animation. Let's just turn this back up a little bit. And maybe if I can do this again, make it even more offset. Like that, yeah. So um, the more you offset this, the more time it takes between uh, each one. So if I click this twice again, it uh, offsets it another 14 frames and another 40 14 frames. So now it looks like this. So you can uh, just play around with that. So I'm going to cut it off right here again. Let's call this uh, DNA. Uh, uh, yeah, let's call it DNA. <laughs> it's fine. And click this button again. And then I can just. Let's rotate that and make this bigger and make a little one over there in the corner. And then maybe a different one over the, over the smaller one here. So now we get these different DNA strains in the corners and everything. So that's how you create this uh, really quickly and easily, this DNA uh, animation. Um, yeah, so that's it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this. If you did, please give it a like and even consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. And if you would like to download these uh, project files, you can do that by supporting us on Patreon. I'll put the link down in the description below. So check that out. And thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks, bye-bye.